fall winter equals ugh. Cheers to fall. Cause you know this ass is God sent, baby. You my spooky boo. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to a new weekly vlog. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and do all that good stuff. So we're actually going to start off this vlog by running a little bit of errands. I actually thought I was going to get my hair done, but we kind of got messed up with the hours. So I was just like, why not just run my little errands that I was planning to do after my hair appointment. Currently, I'm at Walmart and like I said, we're just going to run a little bit of errands. So I'm getting some stuff for a family spooky night that I'm doing. And we're basically painting like pumpkins. I've seen they had these small ones. So I'm gonna get 14 of these. I got my 14. And I try to find as many with the little, what would we say, the trunk to it. So I got the small ones because I feel like that would be much easier and better than the um, big ones because I feel like that would take all night. And those, are, I think, are only like $2 each. So what else do I need? I'm gonna be making like some little Halloween pizzas. Cocktail, I think I need some marshmallows for that. So since I'm doing pizzas, I was thinking about wings as well. And then cookies. So I'm gonna get the wings. I think I'm gonna try it with this sauce. But that's pretty much everything on the list that I can think of right now. Yeah, I'm always forget something, but I'm gonna go ahead and check out. A little mini bucket, where you going to go? Oh no. <laughs> And I'm not gonna leave y'all back here. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So we have made it to Dollar Tree. Better come on the other side of town because y'all seen the last Dollar Tree that I went to. I had nothing. So I'm thinking if I should do this palette or this palette. It's actually smaller. I think I'm gonna do this. I got this black one. I'm ugly. These should be enough. I wonder if I should actually get like little stuff like this. Like some eyes. I got some colorful eyes right here. Let me get that. Let me get these little syringes in case I make like a drink. With the syringes with like fake blood. But this is my cart, y'all. And I'm gonna go ahead and check out. Alright guys, so I am home. I know I mentioned to you guys I'm going to get my hair done. The hair is actually provided by Crown Her Beauty. She sent it over in this black box. So cute with a little bow. And she is actually a small business. So you guys definitely make sure you check her out. So this is how it's packaged. It comes with her business card. And she sent a little card that says you've been crowned. So I'm going to have her linked on the screen. And I'm also link her probably in my description box below. Oh, and it comes with like this little crown. 
Tammy, we really hope that you love the hair as much as we love you. Also, there's a bonnet for Tazana. Thank you for being willing to do a promo for us. Never let your crown tilt. XOXO crown her beauty. So this is what it looks like. It has the gold little paper, you know, to match the crown. Royalty vibes, I guess. So she actually sent some edge control as well. So she sent a little bonnet for Tizana so I'm guessing it's this one and it just says crown her and it's actually adjustable I like that and then this is actually what the bundles come in with these little gold tassels loving all the details so I am doing a sew in and I asked her to send me another 613 blonde hair to add some um pink highlights the hair feels thick so far so this is the 613. I think I got 24 inches or 26 inches. Okay, so it is 24 inches. This is what they look like. She sent me three of these. And as you guys see, they actually have like a natural black um, brown color. So cute. These bundles are actually thick. Not even gonna hold y'all. And as you guys see, her detailing is there, y'all. Y'all know I love the detailing has the little crown her on there and then these bundles actually have the little hair care tag on there so cute and i've just been on highlights really because i feel like highlights give just like a five vibe so then she also did send me a closure so then this is the closure and i don't know if you guys can see the lace right there so like I said, make sure you guys check her out. She is a small business and I'm really excited to, you know, be starting this journey with her. And you know, trying these bundles out. You guys know I love using bundles, real bundles for um, my ponytails now and when I do my quick weave. So I would definitely be reusing these bundles for that and I will keep you guys updated on how the hair does. And you know, I'll keep you guys updated when I actually get installed. So now I am definitely excited to get my hair done. Good morning guys, it's the next day. Right now it's a little too early to explain why I didn't get to my hair appointment, but I really just wanted to come and talk to you guys cause today is Friday, actually Friday the 13th. And today's actually picture day for Tazana and I wanted to do like a little spooky lunch for her as well. So I wanted to show you guys that really. So yeah, good morning right now, it's currently like six something. So I got these glasses on cause my face is still, you know, so puffy or whatever, so. Let's go and make her this little spooky lunch. So like I was saying, I'm really going like at the top of my head of what, based on what I really have. I know she likes pizza. So I actually bought this pizza crust and I found this little ghost cut out. So I already cut out the little um ghost. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the sauce on it, the cheese, and of course the pepperoni. I really should have got mini pepperonis. So I did two holes on the pepperoni with this straw. And then I'm just like drawing the mouth. You know the ghost we have in like the open mouth. Cause I feel like the big pepperoni is kinda gonna take away from the shape. So that's what that looks like. And I'm just putting it in the middle, make it kinda look like the face of the ghost. The good thing is a small kinda pizza because I'll be mad if my pizza only <laughs> one pepperoni <laughs> all right so this is what they looking like and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my little um baker fryer you guys seen me use before so. all right y'all yeah, so I actually cut her some strawberries and grapes just because I do try to send her well you know fruits and stuff and then I actually bought these the other day it was perfect for her pizzas and then i'm actually gonna put some marshmallows in here to make it cute and give her that sweetness so three marshmallows i actually have these edible markers that i bought so with the black one i'm gonna draw you know the little face on here 
so that's what that looks like and i'm gonna put them um, like on top of the um fruits i'm gonna show you guys the overview once i add the um peak stuff Yeah, I'll tell you why I kind of burnt the pieces a little bit. So this is what Tazana's little spooky lunch is given. We got the ghost pizza, the goat little sea um chips, and then we got the marshmallows with the grape and strawberry fruit action over there. All right, yeah, so I'm actually gonna fill out her picture form. Now that I think about it, I need to get cash. So we're gonna have to stop at the ATM or something. I don't even know which one we gonna get. I know I like when it brings the big one okay so i'm gonna just do the ultimate which is 60 dollars because i know i'm not gonna be able to get like 44 dollars exact or 52 dollars exact for an atm so i'm gonna just do 60. oh and then you gotta pay extra for the name and grade i want the name and grade on there so i'm gonna add that that's extra ten dollars so i'm gonna fill this out and i'm gonna just show you guys her when she's done because she be having a whole fit in the morning and she's actually gonna wear this little poochie sweater dress i was gonna say i showed this to you guys on her first day vlog but that was in the stuff that you know went missing and then she's just gonna put it with these purple twelves since it has the little purple in there and the little poochie design and then i'm actually gonna do two pigtails um debating between purple or just um white little bows so we're gonna figure that out oh and by the way guys i wanted to show y'all the little blanket that finally ended up getting here well i'm finally getting it from nana it says zana and then of course all the little barbie stuff on there so this is actually her little nap time um blanket that she takes to school and i'll just update you guys in a minute all right guys so this is tazana the two little pigtails her purple bows her poochie outfit and then her purple twills friday ready and picture day ready all right tell them bye have a good friday bye bye all right guys so i'm back from dropping tazana off i got in the shower and i'm about to get dressed for my day because my hair appointment actually is today and i actually have to meet somebody at 11 30 to go look at a venue for um tazana's birthday but y'all tell me why i'm sitting here and i realize i have like these little bumps under my eye all right here oh my god what is that putting a little bit of foundation on see i don't like that because what is that it's like right on my face too And I'm debating if I should wear this um, Hello Kitty sweater just like this with these black shorts, how I have it right now, and wear my Ricks, or should I put the whole sweatsuit on? So I'm gonna finish getting dressed and I will probably check in with you guys later, probably when I go look at the venue. All right, y'all, so I'm at the venue now looking at it. It's pretty spacious. I'm gonna show it to you guys real quick. When you walk in, this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a bluish tint on the walls, but it kind of has like a white tone to it as well. Black floors kind of has like this upper level right here. But then it has the kitchen part and it actually has like this big opening. I really like that about it. And then it actually has a woman's bathroom here and it has a man's bathroom on the other side. And then right here is like the kitchen that you guys seen. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on the venue real quick. I feel like it's a pretty all right space. And I kind of liked it because it's actually like um, Mexican owned. So, you know, like our people, they kind of know that we like to, you know, party late. And she actually had mentioned that she will allow me to come decorate the day before, which, you know, is a plus. As in if I were to go to like a, you know, another venue, like ran, ran by, you know, the other people, they probably would be a little strict. And usually when Nana does events, they actually charge for the hour for that. So I actually like that. So... I'm kind of really thinking about getting it. Hey y'all, so I actually came to Thai to get some lunch. 
working while I wait for my hair appointment. So I'm here about to give me some pho. I should be craving it. And then I'm actually doing some work. Doing a little bit of work for Karen. So I'll show you guys food when it comes out. All right, y'all, so my pho is out. And y'all know I'ma make it spicy. Chili flakes. And then the oil sauce. I like my little sprouts too. She's actually gonna bring me another oil. It looks so good though. I knew I should have wore a shirt under this. Y'all yeah, ordered some sushi too. It's gonna be a bit. And my mouth is hot. Karen put me on some veal sauce. Hey 
right guys so i am home as you guys see i finally got my hair done and it's freaking given of course the curls already fell out but baby given and for some reason my camera actually ended up dying at my appointment hence the reason i was recording on my phone usually my battery you know lasts me all day but anyways hair is given even the stylist was like asking for details on the hair and she was like this is good hair so make sure you guys go check my girl out y'all yeah, know we love a good sewing and actually i'm gonna show you guys my little outfit of the day because i don't think i ever did so i think i had went out um for the venue but i told you guys i was pretty much just gonna wear the hello kitty sweater with shorts i ended up putting my black um skim shorts and then uh wore my rickies cute little you know fit or whatever and actually guys this is pretty much all that i'm going to be doing for today just because i did mention to you guys i have a little bit of work to do and that's pretty much what i'm about to do just because i want to get that video situated for my sister and then i actually have a video that i want to go out this weekend as well and tomorrow is already going to be saturday so i'm a little bit on a crunch time and tomorrow pretty much going to be hosting my little spooky night that i told you guys about so that's what we'll be doing tomorrow it's going to be a fun day you know we'll pretty much catch up tomorrow i know these first few days have been short but it's pretty much just because um hair didn't go on the agenda hair was supposed to be yesterday and then actually spooky night was supposed to be today so with all that being said guys good night and i will come and talk to you guys tomorrow hey guys so before we get into the rest of this video we have a sheen haul so with that being said let's shout out to sheen for you know sponsoring this part of the video and i am very excited to show you guys these pieces that i picked out y'all know i love them and i know you guys love them too so i'm gonna show you guys a few pieces so hopefully y'all go cop an item or you know a few and if you do use my discount code bad tammy to save coins because y'all already know so as you guys see we actually have a huge huge packet so originally it was supposed to be like a full try on but i have gained a couple pounds and that means your girl booty done grew a little bit so majority of the actual bottoms don't seem to fit me and you know that's the whole point of a try on showing you guys how it looks so it's sort of gonna be like you know mini or whatnot but i actually have a lot of pieces as you guys see we have this bag we have this little box and then we have this huge huge box down here this set that i actually have on right now it's actually one of the items so cute girly two-piece y'all know i love my two-piece so actually another thing these items are kind of a mix of like summer slash fall y'all know we in the fall now but with this bipolar weather y'all know we be having some sunny days then we get back to the temperature dropping so it's kind of a mixture so like i mentioned this set that i had on it's one of the pieces that i picked out is this two piece in this light pink color so cute i did get this in a small and it fits perfect and as you guys actually see it does have like this white band on top of the shorts and then at the bottom of the actual crop top and the material to this is actually very thick which we like that because y'all know sometimes it is those items that are very like see-through but as you guys see this actually has good coverage or whatnot so let's start by digging in here with this item it's like this cardigan this white fluffy cardigan but when i seen it on the website it had this model with a two-piece that went under it and i thought it was a three-piece if you're like a cardigan girl that you know like to wear cardigans on top of your fits i would definitely recommend this one okay so this is what it looks like and the arms are actually fluffy i like that it's pretty long as well it stops above my knee so for reference your girl is five foot one and now i weigh somewhere around like 150 155 ish mostly in tops i am a small and in bottoms i was a medium so next up we have this cute two piece i just feel so cute and girly in this as you guys see is this like ruffle two piece set the top is like this tube top and it has like these two ruffle strings on the side and then this is the skirt it has two thigh splits and it also has like the ruffles on the sides but it also does have these extra ruffle strings that are in the middle of the split the sides actually have like a little bit of ruffle right here i feel like this definitely gives like a date night outfit with some cute heels and you know a little clutch bag 
so cute so 360 with it it kind of reminds me of the fairy birthday my sister had i feel like this would have went perfect with those vibes it gives very you know like fairy goddess with the you know all white all right so next item start off with the top is this cute blue and yellow crop top as you guys see and it says 99 percent and yellow wording and then the sleeves are yellow and they have the blue stripes so let's do a close-up on the top that's what it's giving i really love the colors and i actually have some shoes that match these perfectly pretty much why i did cop it just so i could you know pair with those shoes to you know do a cute chill fit now onto the skirt it's just this denim skirt it actually has a thigh split right here and i really liked it because it has like this crisscross action going on right here y'all know sheen is good for having different pieces so i really like that about it and skirts kind of just been my thing recently i just feel like it was cute and as you guys see it actually fits me very nice it is in a medium and i feel like i actually really like the length to this it's not too long like you know it's not dragging all the way so yep guys this is you know this top and then this skirt let's get into this hoodie as you guys see it's two-tone and it has a light pink and a dark pink and it actually has a star detail right here in the front so cute and it actually does have a hood a hoodie with it i really just loved how they did you know like the little peekaboo star detail and since it's cropped it technically didn't finish the whole star i already see myself wearing this out like cute it's just girly y'all know i love pink so it really just caught my attention for that reason i feel like it's pretty breathable as well it's not too thin so I feel like we would definitely be good to wear on one of those, you know, good chilly days. And then of course, you know, you can bring out the star a little more with your star accessories. Which brings me to the actual bottoms. There are also star details, y'all. I am in love with these bottoms. As you guys see, they have this pretty wash to it. It's like a kind of a vintage wash and it has star detail, like I said, and it has like this trim, like raw trim all around it it has a big pocket here it has another star detail right here and it also has another star detail inside of here so let's see let's see okay so i think you guys can see them a little better here so do y'all see how these fit your girl and i'm over here talking about the bottoms ain't fitting cute it's definitely cuffing the booty it fits me perfect y'all i'm in love with these bottoms i really love these i love the look to them i feel like i wouldn't necessarily wear it with this top just because i feel like the wash to it doesn't really go well with it i would do probably more of a simple top and then like i said doing accessories with the stars i feel like i would definitely do that with the um jeans because i do have like some gold hoop star earrings that will pretty much you know kind of go with the wash with it that's gonna be so cute so i'm excited for that so also make sure you guys check out my instagram and one last look at the jeans because i really love them i really love the fit to them just look how it's you know it fits the girl just right okay Jean. okay all right so in my last vlog i actually showed you guys this outfit as you guys see is this two piece is a nude set it comes with a long skirt and then it has this tube top it actually has like little lace trim and like a pretty light pink it has like this bow right here and also has it on the skirt i really liked it because it's like very nude but it still had that little you know pink color to it it's just those outfits that you know give minimal you know effort but they're still cute so kind of a close-up of the top as you guys see it has the little trim with the bow right there this is the little bow on the skirt i would definitely recommend you know wearing some nipple covers with this though but let me you know show you guys the full body the skirt is pretty long it kind of stops like right at the ankle this is what the body is given cute or whatnot i really like this like i said i feel like this um set would definitely look cute on my um slim girls you know that got like a little booty poking because it does give you know like body it gives like kind of the mermaid dress kind of illusion the skirt definitely does like it's a little bit more body fitted and then at the bottom it kind of you know flares up 
kind of like the mermaid style i have two different items i'm gonna start off with this top as you guys see it's pretty much a chill cami or whatever is in this bright pink color like hot pink and then it has like white detailing the sides are actually white and then you know the back is pretty much the same just that bright pink color it's pretty simple as you guys see i feel like it's a top that i can chill in the house with so moving on to bottoms i have this pretty um leather skirt i actually was supposed to wear this on my sister's birthday to go with my regina look and i feel like it would have um definitely made that regina look a bit sexier but as you guys see it's very like schoolgirl, and it's actually short but it has shorts under so you know we're all good i feel like this skirt would definitely look good with some thigh high boots all right so getting more into the fall vibes we got this velour two-piece you yeah, know i love 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 their two pieces and definitely in the more chilly weather that i feel like that's everybody will i'm gonna say my favorite go-to you know you already got your bottoms in your top picked out all you gotta do is you know style it with some sneaks so like i mentioned it's kind of like this you know velour materials it's this pretty um brown color the top is a hoodie and we also have some front pockets i feel like the hoodie is a very good length even though it's crop top and then the bottoms do have pockets y'all know pockets are always a plus so it's pretty simple you know but the back does have wording on it on the booty part it says angel because you know this ass is god sent baby <laughs> but now y'all these fit perfect and i love the wording it kind of gave me like a little you know juicy vibe i definitely love this and surprisingly y'all this actually fits me very good when i seen the tag it said extra small so i was like uh but it actually fits me good y'all know sometimes i do like to size down but recently i haven't so i was a little surprised that i seen extra small but i actually really really love the fitting of this i feel like a small still would have been cute but i really do love how the extra small you know fits me like you know very fitted so yeah this two piece y'all better run and go get it so speaking of two pieces we have another one and this one is actually a short set but the top is actually still long sleeve if you know you know the weather be bipolar so i really love this because it kind of has like this striped kind of ombre blue vibe going to it surprisingly this blue catch my attention i'm not really like a blue girl but i do be trying keyword trying to you know get more colors into my closet because i kind of feel like i stay more so like in the pink and neutral vibe with it but i really love the color wave to it what really catch my attention was like this thick band to the shorts so originally you know they're gonna come like this extra long but you're supposed to like you know fold it over to give that you know thick band illusion right there and that's kind of what i really liked so this is what the back looks like i really like this i really love how it looks on me and this is actually in a size small you can never go wrong with a two-piece like i said so next up is this top it says glamour and it's in this pretty nude color it says it in kind of like this old english font it actually has like a lighter brown on the outside of the wording and the top is cut out in the middle as you guys see and it kind of has like these long sides it's pretty much like a revealing top it also has like this little slit at the top you know for the boob action and it's like this you know tank crop top so next up is pretty simple as well is this white um short sleeve crop top and the detail into this is a pink cross i really like the simplicity to it and then you know the cross kind of gives it that pop to it and of course it's my favorite color pink so i feel like i can actually you know probably pair this up with my pink um rick owens you know my pink bag and then you know that's a simple look there so actually moving down to jeans they fit me like just right it's these light um wide leg jeans they're actually very um wide leg i really like that i've been liking my um pants very baggy and like really really wide for whatever reason but they actually have these rips on the knees they have like little minor rip on the side of the legs as well and it actually has this detail i'm not really sure what you would call it but it has this on both sides i don't know why the camera keep getting like dark oh my god y'all i love this dress but anyways let's get into the details it's this pretty um like green color kind of like army green 
and that's kind of the vibes that's giving me like cute army girl but it has these little flaps to give like the illusion of pockets but it actually does have these little pockets right here and it actually has this belt that is detachable and it kind of just clips right here the zipper the belt kind of has like the detailing of gold so I feel like gold accessories will definitely make this pop more. I really love the fitting of this and I actually got this in a small and it's actually short sleeved. So this is what it looks like from the back. Real short, real cute, real sexy. And it does have like a small collar as well. Back pockets. And actually a plus, they do have shorts underneath. Because y'all know it is so short. So I really like that about this. This dress, like I said, 10 out of 10. I really like how it gives, you know, dress up. But it gives like kind of streetwear dress up. So I could actually wear this with sneakers instead of heels. Because y'all know I am more of like a sneaker girl. Next dress that I have is in this red color. Giving very much grown woman. As you guys see, it still has that stringy look. You know, like ruffled. And when you turn to the side, it's very split. This side of my booty is damn near hangings but yeah the slit is very high and on this side it actually has three little roses and then it kind of has like a minor slit on the other side and i actually like it because it gives you know more detailing in the back it has two um strings on each side that you know go towards the back so the back pretty much you know it's not as plain so i feel like this dress will actually look good with an updo so yeah, this is how this dress looks. All right guys, so this is actually gonna be the last item I try on for you guys. So far, one of my favorites. And like I mentioned, my sister had this event that I kinda had chose this for to have as an option. So once again, it's like giving, you know, fairy. But honestly, I feel like this is giving me grown women. I feel like it's giving definitely date night definitely brunch so all i know is somebody need to be taking me out soon but as you guys see is this pretty light pink color and it has this floral print all over it does sort of have like this mesh and like ruffle strings hanging on the left side the straps are spaghetti and i actually really love the length of this dress it is a little past my knee and it kind of has like a small like trim ruffle at the bottom i don't know if you guys can really see that so like I said, this was supposed to be a whole outfit. So these are the heels that I've seen on their website that go perfect with these. They're this white open toe heel and they have little flowers all around. And you actually, you know, lace them up. I really love my heels with that, you know, lace up kind of thigh high um, look to it. I really love my heels like that. But I really love the florals. And like I said, it matches, you know, with the dress. It just gives those vibes. And not only that, but your girl also got some accessories. Look at these earrings, y'all. They go so perfect with the dress. So cute. I'm not really like a dangly earring girl, but these cute. It's definitely giving, like I said, wrong women take me out on a date. So in case you guys can't really see how it looks on me, this is what they look like. It has like this little bedazzle part on the ear and then it just literally has, you know, the flowers hanging with like some little gold things with a little bit more bedazzle. And it actually matches very perfect with the dress. Yeah, this outfit. 10 out of 10, baby. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys the rest of the other items. First off is this cute top, and as you guys see, it's very extra with the fur. I really love the color to it, and just the fur, like I said, definitely a cute look for the fall. Um, I believe it's off the shoulder. It is long sleeve, and the sleeves are a bit wide, and they also has like this, you know, red material. So these are just some blue jeans. They were supposed to be like, you know, baggy jeans with like some rips on them. They actually had like little pockets. So these are just some like lounging pants. They're gray and the top band is like this pretty light pink color. And I really liked it because they were very simple, like I said, to lounge in. And I love the little detail that it said in the back. It says 90s baby in like an English font. They're like yoga pants, so of course they're wide. So this is another top I was really looking forward to again with the you know two-tone browns nudes going on the undershirt is mesh and then it has like this over top like bralette on it with kind of like star detailing on it just covers the boobs you know for that coverage and you actually tie it at the top and you will actually tie it you know around your waist 
I really just loved it. Like I say, very different. I probably have been inserting in the picture of the models just because I didn't try it on for you guys. This is a white dress. It um actually comes with a hood. I really love the um look to it. But it actually has like this distressed look all over it. But it does have like, you know, that extra garment underneath but overall i really like this dress because i feel like the hood kind of you know makes it get into like you know chili vibes these are just some black um leather shorts they have like white stitch detailing cute cute you know you can't never go wrong with leather shorts these are some bottoms i'm really upset that did not fit me well they gonna fit me soon we're gonna speak that right now so there's some light blue jeans and as you guys see they have these um, distressed crosses on the legs. So this is what the front looks like. It has two and one and then it has one and two. And then it actually has some on the back as well. They're actually much bigger. It's that same like cross with the distress and kind of like a lighter denim. So I really love that and I really love the um, light jean to this. I got these in a medium. Also, I got some shorts um, and this like vintage wash to them. I really love that wash that has like, you know, that brown tonish to it. So these were just some shorts. Pretty simple. Oh my God, these. They're kind of giving me like, is it, um, is it Renaissance or kind of like, um, I'm having a brain fart right now, but y'all know what I'm talking about. This is kind of what it's giving me, like that be in the museums. So I really just love the print. It caught my attention. I feel like it would be very cute to dress these up. Not really sure how yet. I might ask my sister to help me with these, but I really just love the print to these. This is a green ombre skirt. I actually have picked it with the matching top, but I didn't get the matching top. So I just didn't want to try it on. So I might just go back on the website. Hopefully it's still on there. The same for this top. I had got it with a matching skirt it's just it's just like a pink denim like i said y'all know i love my two pieces so i felt like these two sets will give you know outgoing vibes so this is this top it's a pink corset like pink denim and like i said it was supposed to go with a matching skirt so i need to you know get on the website for that one as well and that actually concludes the sheen haul guys like y'all seen the package was a bit big so it is a little long if you guys liked any of these items they will be linked in my description box below and also you know don't forget to use my discount code bad tammy and with that being said let's get into the rest of this video bye good morning guys it's the next day actually it's the the right four lanes. Hey guys, so it's actually much later and these are the lashes. I don't know if you guys can really see because it is a bit dark in here. So up and close on the lashes, the eyes are a little bit red, but they're not as red as they usually be. So like I mentioned, today is actually spooky night and I'm so sorry y'all, but I actually been MIA. It's actually much later in the day. I know when I spoke to you guys, I came real early when I went to get my lashes done. But I really just been doing a lot of unnecessary running around, which is why I'm kind of a little bit on crunch time with setting up for my event which i don't like because i like being on time with my stuff and i like having my setup real nice i like taking time with my setup just because y'all know i kind of like doing things like that so i don't like when it's necessarily rushed if i haven't mentioned it's spooky family night basically so the night basically is going to consist of us painting little pumpkins sipping on drinks as usual and just having family time and i am supposed to be cooking um which i'm supposed to be making like halloween themed pizzas and also some wings she's supposed to make the wings we are late like i said you guys pretty much just going to be seeing me rush to put this stuff together but for now y'all I got these cute little sweatpants that I found at um Walmart it's some Barbie ones Did you guys see the little Barbie print 
cute or whatnot they fit me right i got a medium and i actually got it for my sister nana as well and then when i went to walmart earlier today i went to a different walmart that actually had the hoodie this what it would give with the hoodie i might have to borrow hers now that i see it cute little look i'm gonna start off by doing a table which is just white tablecloth pumpkins and um and you know the little chairs and then i'm gonna get started on the good stuff like putting the pizzas in the oven and all that All right guys, so I'm about to go ahead and get started on the pizza. I got my flour out. These are the pizza crust, of course. I cut up some spicy um, sausage, jalapenos, peppers. I got my pepperoni over here and cheese, of course. Oh, I just have to um, get out the sauce, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I think I'm gonna make um, like a pumpkin shaped one and maybe a ghost one so i'm actually gonna go in with this edible marker and try to draw it out before i cut it out well maybe i should do the little Ooh. trunk first so that's gonna be a trunk and it's just a circle pretty much all right <coughs> oh. And then I'm gonna just cut it. Ooh, you're doing a good job. Thank you, thank you. You're doing a good job, really good job. So that's the best it's gonna get. And I think I'm gonna use like this extra as kind of like a crust. All right, so this is the top view of the pumpkin. I'm gonna go ahead and you know dress it up real nice. I should probably put it on the pan. Hold up, I'll put it on the pan first, y'all. All right, so put it on here. Kind of messed up, but you gonna get the picture. See, y'all, this is why I didn't want to be rushing because I don't want I wanted to be taking my time making sure my um, shapes came out good. So cheese. All right, y'all. So pepperonis. I like how people be doing, you know, make it cute with the faces. But baby, I actually want it to be good. I like a lot of pepperoni, so we're not gonna make no little faces. Load it up like an actual pizza. I like peppers. On my stuff. So I'm adding some orange ones. Add them some yellow ones. I'm gonna add some jalapenos. I'm gonna do one of them loaded and then the other one I'm gonna pretty much just do pepperoni and sausage. So this is what the pumpkin one looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven and then I'm gonna get started on the ghost one. Alright so now I'm gonna do the ghost. I just feel like I'm rushing. Like I know it could have looked so much better. I'm gonna definitely have to give these a rerun. Well, I actually already did um little spooky pizzas with you guys before. It's not giving ghost. What y'all think?
all right y'all so this is the ghost one i feel like it's not really give a ghost but you get the picture and i pretty much just went ahead and added all the other ingredients that i already cut up i'm trying to think of what's another design that i can do because i have one more crust left so i can go ahead and do it just so i can make sure it's enough for everybody so i'm gonna wait on the other pizza then put this one in and do my other one and then i'll just keep you guys updated on pizzas next up i'm making these little spooky drinks with marshmallows so you just get the marshmallow melted and then you know put it on the rim and just create the different like you know web looking kind of things and you kind of want to leave a good enough like kind of gap to add the actual drink in it wait it's the webs yeah it's like a web but the, it's for the spider webs so like that what you go put in the cup for the drink what kind oh, of this drink? is for grown-ups what kind of drink i'm gonna make you one really these are so cute yeah. they're actually much easier than I thought they was gonna be. Ah. Hey guys, so it's much later and I actually got ready already. Um, I've been trying to finish up the table setup. I've been trying to do the drinks, but the actual marshmallow, like the webs, it's like melting. So I've been kind of trying to redo them so it can actually look good. But we about to get ready to start. It's way later than the starting time. I'm just finishing up these last drinks. This is what they look like. For the other ones, I just did um, Henny with the strawberry lemonade. Y'all know that little recipe. And then I just added the little glitter. So I'm gonna show you guys the setup real quick. So here's the setup. Pretty simple, like I said. We just got the pumpkins, the paint brushes, and the little thing for the paint. And then this is the drinks, as y'all see. It's pretty much melted. And then this is the other setup. We got a few people that's missing, but we about to go ahead and start. Also, update on the pizza. I took them out the oven, and that's what the pumpkin one looks like. And then this is the ghost one. They look actually pretty good. All right, y'all. So the event has started, and everybody is, you know, getting their little ideas ready. So Claudia, starting off with the pink. Okay. okay. What you doing? You gonna do like this? Something See, spooky. I mean, Jay, what the drink pump. given? Yeah, I remember when we yep. the what, what, what you gonna do on we your pumpkin? I'm this year. You? Put my face. That's scary. That's gonna be scary. I'm gonna have no idea right now. Okay. I might do it here. Oh, that's cute. Charlie. Nana doing SpongeBob. Zay, what are you doing? Like okay, this. Zay, still thinking. Winnie. What about this dude? Minion. Okay. Tazana has started. She got some little pink vibes going on. We might need to take your sweat off, boo. Yeah, let's take your sweat off. And then I actually found these little cute clips for Tazana hair. Cute, cute, cute. Y'all got all black ones. Yeah. But we really went with the thing they did it. Yeah, you had to wear either black, orange, or Halloween PJs. I got this first. The rest of the crew copied me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cheers to Spooky Night. Yeah. I'm going to paint mine to all black. Damn, I should do half and half. That would be cute. But then you're going to have to do the Hello Kitty. Yeah. Yeah. So how are we gonna do the the win and stuff? Well, let's just vote. Drop that spooky. Sh <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do the bottom because then it's gonna hit the table. Oh, you doing all the way to the bottom, Teddy? No, I, I was, but I'ma just wait because it's sticking. Okay, I think I'm done. Jay, talking about he done. <laughs> And it say by J in the back. He got a tattoo, he got a crow from Yeah, the I see that. Alright, y'all, I'm starting to paint my pink side. She wanted us to be artists so over Shot. Pumpkin shots. You know, to the littest people in her house. Cheers! So spooky night hosted by the one and only Bad Tabby here. You know, Mommy is a great time. Let me give a long speech. I'm gonna give y'all a quick update on everybody pumpkins. This is mine. I got half and half, and then I'm starting on this like 
skeleton hello kitty right here i feel like i should have did the white first because it's giving like grayish then claudia is still putting more coat i'm gonna do one more and then i'm gonna start on my design because okay, okay. i want it to perfection yeah so i can give like it can give, yep. chelly has joined the chat and this is her pumpkin i'm gonna add another layer of purple face uh, all the girlfriend has joined the chat as well. And she covering it pink. Oh, she covering <laughs> And then this is all us. Yup. Okay, okay. Yeah, I still ain't done working on it. Just okay, trust okay. the process. We already told y'all Jay was done. He got teardrops and cross. It's a thug punk. Yours ain't even fully coated because it ain't supposed to be. Alright, they just over there dissing each other. Like this is Weenie's. Oh, she's it. done. No, I'm not done. Oh, you're not done? <laughs> I still need to die. Oh, okay. It's cute. It's just looking like it didn't dry. Like the the yellow didn't you dry. Then this is Tazana. <laughs> this is Tazana's. Cute, 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 John cute. Copy. Oh, this is Oh, yeah, he's Yeah, it's oh, good. Well, this is, this is it Spider -Man. look like it got a ski mask No, on. this is Spider-Man. <laughs> Zay, show your pumpkin. Okay, hey, Zay is actually yeah. done. Zay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Nana's all green. I'm done playing tonight. It's fun, but didn't work out. Oh, damn. Okay, we will update you guys in a minute. Mine's is not coming out, right? It's not covering. That's how yours will look, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's not giving. Well, I'm not liking it. Alright y'all, for my next drink, I got the cherry juice and grenadine to put in the syringes. And then this little mixture is this. It's basically a mica, really. So you just put it in there and suck it up. Mm. 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 So I'm gonna just put all these little injections up, fill them up. All right, so I mixed up the pineapple juice, lemon juice, and Hennessy. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just filling up to there. She got the drink. I'm ready to get towed. All right, y'all ended up putting some difficult chamoy on there. Like on the side to make it look like blood dripping and then this is what the final product look like so cute so i'm gonna go ahead and pass them out well i'll give you guys the overview all right so this is the overview of the drinks cheers to spooky night put your blood in the drink Cause y'all need a real bleep family. Cheers. All right, Jay porn shots. Sing every word to up tomorrow. That other table. <laughs> we got the biggest section Cheers. in the club. Cheers. All right, y'all. So the last drink is gonna be something simple. I'ma just use rumchata, pumpkin spice whipped cream, and some sprinkles. So pour rumchata that much. Oh, I wish I had the Cardi B one. I tried buying hers um, with before, but they don't have it down here. And then just add the sprinkles on top. All right, so this is what these drinks are given. And we actually tried rum chata before. Cheers! Oh, she's coming hard. the table. <laughs> Cheers. The other one was better. Which one? The other one. Yeah, it's strong. It is. All right, guys, so we are all finally done. And basically, everybody's gonna come and explain their pumpkin, and then everybody's gonna vote their top three. So, this is mine. I tried to go with a half and half vibe, but I didn't get to finish because I wasn't liking how it was coming out. But as y'all see, the black side was supposed to be like skeleton, Hello Kitty, and then the pink side was supposed to be like girly, but I didn't finish. So, my top three is. 
Claudia's, Nana's, and um, Melissa's because it's pink. Hey y'all, so as y'all seen, Spongebob was a fail, so I looked up Plankton, I was like, it's perfect because he's evil, so like Halloween. So, I feel like I did pretty good because y'all know I'm not really artistic, so. For me, I feel like it's good. This is what it's looking like. My top three are Weenie, Claudia's, and Melissa's. What up, gang? <laughs> this is fun of me. The vision was clear, but this wasn't clear. <laughs> Jelly, Chody, and uh, Melissa. So there's my third pumpkin right here. I had a vision, I just ain't executed. He got some tear dry. He done killed two pumpkins before right here. He got the cross because he believe in God. You know, God is great. God he got great. a wig on? No. He got a ski. It just then He got it like down here so it ain't cover his <laughs> Oh, I can't cut. Sorry. And he frowned. And what did it say? By Jay, the one and only. My top three, I'd say, okay, if we being real, keeping it real here. Nah, nah, it's cause Plankton got them vanillas on me. He wanna ran that bag or he got that secret formula. Claudia's, uh, Claudia's, His what it say, one. boo you. Beep, we gonna beat that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we got Sherlyn's too. She got the little, what's that, corn candy for the eyes. Candy That's corn. the real top three. <laughs> this is my idea, like some original pumpkin. I guess designed with a little gold tooth. Uh, my top three is Nana, who's this? Winnie mm -hmm. and Melissa. Man, we thought that was Chris Sean Rock. Alright, All right, this is mine. I did a little whatever, you know. The yeah, the the yellow wasn't really doing its thing, but my top three is uh Melissa's Nana's and my comadre. Okay, so this is mine. I that messed mine up right here, so it got two sides. But my top three is uh, Nana, Tammy, and Claudia. All right, y'all. So this is my pumpkin. I did all pink. If you watch Mean Girls, you know this is a Mean Girl quote. Boo you. So I did the ghosts for the O's, and then I did ghosts all around. The best. All right, so my top three would be Alda. Psych. Yeah, I, like <laughs> I like um Nana's because Plankton got the what's the name Plank Plankton. Plankton. You know how it's Plankton. He got the veneers, <laughs> veneer gang. So I like Melissa's. Hers was clean. The lines. I like Sherilyn's too. Her lines is clean, and then the I like the concept of hers. See here, we got the evil side. It kind of got messed up to somebody, but then we got the uh, the marijuana part because you know, you gotta stay faded. But um, my top three is Nana, Claudia, and Chelly. The worst one was Jay's. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is my pumpkin. I don't know, I went with some little TikTok design. <clears throat> this was supposed to, the purple wasn't really, you know, given. My top three is Melissa, Claudia, and Nana. All right, so give it up to Berkey and nice. nice. Give it up for the host. Thank you for having us. And it was a beautiful event. Her usual. Y'all did good. For that tribe. Everybody did good, right. everybody did good. The boys did good. Did a try. Hey guys, so it's been a bit later. It's currently actually 4.50 a.m. So about to be 5 a.m. Everybody literally just left. So I wanted to update you guys that, you know, this is the end of the night. Definitely 10 out of 10 recommend, you know, hosting a little spooky night with the family. But before I head out, I actually realized that I didn't show you guys my outfit. Something simple, but I still didn't show it to you guys. So. Yeah, seeing the little top, Hello Kitty, you know, Halloween kind of vibe from Forever 21. And then this striped skirt from H&M and whatnot. So this is the look. And yeah, this is pretty much the end of the night. Like I said, 
I definitely wish I would have finished like I wanted to. Y'all know usually I always do my thing, but comment down below which one you guys like the best. Well, we did top three, so comment which one was you guys a top three from the pumpkins that we did. And I will pretty much come and talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So it's not even morning. It's actually one in the afternoon, and I'm finally like up, up. I've been up, but you know, I'm just not really waking up, brush my teeth, and all that good stuff. Uh, my mom actually was nice enough to take Tazana and you know, spend time with Tazana while I was trying to get myself together. I am gonna um get cute for the day because I actually didn't take any pics yesterday, and then you know, cute for the day as well. I think I high key want to take Tazana to the pumpkin patch, the one that's down here. I actually really, really wanted to take her to a farm one just because they actually have activities but i think she's gonna enjoy it regardless so she actually might even wear her little sweater from yesterday her little hello kitty one that said hey boo on it or i don't know i'll see whatever she ends up wearing but i have that in mind and then also i need to do some running around with my mom for some of um tozana birthday stuff i might do that i'm not sure if i bring you guys along for that because i think i'm actually gonna record like pre-record for Tazana's birthday vlog. Her birthday is in a few weeks. And you yeah, know, that's kind of like something that I always look forward to. I think you guys pretty much love when it's like Tazana's birthday vlog. So yeah, that's a vibe. Pretty chill. Cause I wouldn't say I'm feeling shit, but right now I just, you know, need to get up and get my day going instead of just laying here doing nothing and feeling like shit. I feel like that's kind of a key to my like hangover days. Like I don't necessarily like sit in it or lay in it i actually like push myself to do something and you know get my day started so then i could feel the vibes of the day and actually start to feel better if that makes sense i don't really have to do any cleaning around because i always clean like at the end of the night so i'm gonna get myself together and then i will come back and speak to you guys hey guys so updating you guys really really quick on hair excuse the same shirt i tried to put it on because i wanted to retake some pics of me since i didn't get any last night but it wasn't given i went ahead and straightened the hair you guys see this side is straight and it looks so much better y'all know i'm a straight hair girl so cute and it's straightened so fast and so good so do you guys like the curls? Well, these not really curls, but do y'all like the curls or straight hair better? <laughs> so I'm gonna straighten my other side and get dressed and then actually Tazana's back for my mom's and um, she's gonna get in the shower cause she actually got paint on her face. I just wanted to update you guys that, you know, I was straightening my hair and looks so good so soft all right guys so i'm dressed <laughs> why has been giving up and wearing the same thing today i actually went with the whole sweatsuit set i showed you guys this set in my last vlog but if you didn't watch that one it's just a white hello kitty sweater i see me wear already and then these are the sweats got the hello kitty face down here and some little hearts and down here it just says hello kitty and then i just wore my pink ricks because they're actually wide pants let me put it down for you guys excuse my mess but yeah they're pretty wide they cover the pink since it's not the same so it's pretty cute i think i'm feeling myself because of the straight hair but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and head out we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch first and hopefully tazana enjoys it we get to Take a few little cute pictures. The weather's not all that good, but yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a minute. Hey guys, so we have made it to the pumpkin patch. And it's packed. So we're gonna try this one since nobody's actually here. You cold? You wanna walk first? Okay. But this is what it looks like. Got different little sections. <laughs> Look at that one. Look at that. <laughs> like fucking cheeks. <laughs> Tazana acting like she's so cold. It's like windy. So they actually have this little area where it's stuff they 
um, sale. How look you want to try this banana bread? I actually like banana bread. Is this pumpkin? I'm gonna take a pumpkin and a banana. And then I think Chi wants some of this honey. This man raises his own sour, sour wood trees. He adds to his orchard every year. He has a whole orchard of just that kind of tree. Mm -hmm. Where that's a tree honey, it keeps for decades. But you won't keep it for decades because it tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Tizana's going to take her first picks right here. All right, y'all, so Tizana ended up getting inside this little wagon. That's supposed to be for the pumpkins. Then we're just going to take some other picks right here. And the actual pumpkin patch. Tazana's on this little swing now. It's like in between these trees. And then this is our last little station. You got to say, hey, boo. Like your shirt. She actually got some pumpkins without showing you guys because he said he want to carve some but i'm gonna change mine because these are too huge i want like a medium-sized one and usually they have like the little funnel cakes and like little stuff you can buy but i think they're closed today and they have all these different pumpkins y'all look white pumpkins these light skin ones then they got the ones with herpes i like this one i want this one Look at that huge pumpkin he got. This is dirty. <laughs> they all dirty. This one's pretty around. Let me see it. Yeah, get that one. That one is better, I think. This one. They got a nice trunk too. Hold on. <laughs> Who knew picking a pumpkin be so hard? Come here, come here. Let me pull it. Let me dry the boot. Leaving the pumpkin patch. <laughs> hey guys, so we have made it to Walmart really quick because we totally forgot to get these from up there. The little carving kit. And then it's Sunday, so I have to get stuff for Tizana's school, like, you know, weekly lunches. He said no. Oh, and then we're also going to cook. Well, Chi's going to cook dinner. So he's trying to figure out what he want to cook. So this is the cart so far. Got some bagels. It's a mess. We wanted some neck bones. They only have one. So they're going to go check if they have some more. Then they picked these little pumpkins. I guess for their decor they doing. Apples for Tizana, cantaloupe for Tizana. I think that's for Tizana as well. I want loaded um, baked potatoes, so I got these. And then lemons just to stock up for the house. So adding bacon bits for the loaded potato. I'm gonna get some mini pepperonis. We are gonna need some cheese. Which reminds me of some quesadilla tortillas for Tizana. We already got mozzarella, so this is fine. So we're getting two chips, spicy and then like regular for Tizana. We really need to do a pantry restock, but we ain't doing that today. Add to cart. All right, guys, this is buggy update. She and Tizana is decorating. So they getting their stuff and then we just got a whole bunch of other snacks. We about to go ahead and check out. Hey guys, so it's actually a bit later, much later. We ended up getting home from the grocery store, took groceries out. She started um, cooking like I mentioned to you guys. Actually, we was at the grocery store a bit longer than that and then we had to actually go to another grocery store because we didn't get to find some neck bones that we wanted. After all of that running around, ended up getting late. So then it was time for Tazana to go to bed. She actually went to bed a little later than she's supposed to. So we didn't get a chance to do the pumpkins yet. But I'm just updating you guys because the food is finally done. This is my plate. We made the pork chops. Wait. 
She made some pork chops with sauerkraut, the neck bones, greens, and rice. So I'm about to just eat this and I'm actually watching Baddies. This is my first time finally watching it. I'll just be seeing like little clips or whatever. So I'm just watching that. I'm gonna eat my food and I'm pretty much gonna call it a night. So good night guys. basically I just wanted to do like a fall morning routine and you know pretty much get into the fall vibes slash kind of Halloween vibes because really so far I really haven't been in the mood I haven't did any decor around the house like I usually do we haven't did no outside decor either and honestly I'm not going to this year so that's kind of why I wanted to do this routine to get myself in getting more into the vibes because technically i am a fall baby so i need to be getting into you know the vibes period so recently that tazana has been going to school sometimes i do lay back down and you know end up falling asleep and i put my alarm to you know wake back up so i won't sleep the whole day when she's gone because i like you know getting things done so that's kind of one of the things that is different in my routine i did refreshing up but y'all know basically just for the content i had got back in the bed y'all know take um tiny outside and he actually has some little pjs so what i'm about to do right now actually is i'm about to fix myself a drink usually i do stop at starbucks when i do drop tazana off if i'm craving it but i was just like i'm gonna make it at home with you guys because why not and actually this is gonna be my first time making this drink i'm gonna try to recreate the chai tea latte with the pumpkin cone foam on top i had already already got my ingredients so now we're gonna go in the kitchen and you know get started on that because i actually am very excited for it all right guys so we're in the kitchen and i have my ingredients here i got the tazo classic chai tea and actually i don't have any ice my ice machine has not been working so i actually put this in the um, freezer for a bit so it's nice and cold because you know we are going to make it ice well cold not ice and then I got heavy whipping cream. I got the pumpkin puree. I got some vanilla syrup. And actually my little twist to it is I'm gonna actually be putting it inside a little pumpkin because you know, why not? Why not get the whole pumpkin um, vibes with it? I should actually first um, cut this out and you know, scoop the inside out. And then I'm actually am gonna be making me some cinnamon rolls, you know, for my little breakfast. And actually when I was going to the store, I was looking for the pumpkin spice ones, but I couldn't find them. So I just got the cinnamon ones, but I have been seeing where people actually add the puree when they add the icing. So I'm going to try that and, you know, give it that extra touch. So first, like I said, we're going to cut this bad boy open. This little pumpkin is strong. I don't want to cut too deep because of course we need to make sure the liquid doesn't spill. Pumpkins are so messy. Actually, let me do this um, over the um, 
trash can because the seeds are everywhere. All right, yeah, so I got the pumpkin all cleaned out as nice and clean as I could. So I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, get the actual cinnamon rolls going first because I actually have to bake them. So that is what I'm gonna do. I always have a difficult time opening these up. That scared the shit out of me. It says 18 to 20 minutes. I'm only gonna do three. Well, actually the other ones look messed up. And then I actually seen a little trick with these as well. I got some cooking twine and you basically tie it on them. If I make the whole thing, I know I'm gonna eat it, so I'm not gonna make the whole thing. I'm gonna eat one and then I'm gonna save them put this on. So like I was telling y'all, you get the kitchen twine and tie it so when it's baking it kind of makes the shape of a pumpkin so i think you do one two three four so i'm gonna do four on each well let me show you guys one first let me put it down on this way and then we're gonna flip it and you know tie it on the other side then one this way and lastly this way then we tie it So it can stay in place. I think a bit tight, but not too tight. Okay, so when I tie it, I'm just gonna, you know, cut the extra. Okay, and this is the last one. So I'm gonna do the other ones and then show them to you guys how they look before I put them in the oven. All right, y'all, so this is what they look like or should look like if you're trying to, you know, recreate. So I've been seeing people add a little bit of this on there. So, so we're gonna place the cinnamon rolls in the oven. All right, so I put my timer for those. And now to the exciting part, the drink. They be saying add equal parts of the chai tea and the milk. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to think how much y'all think will fit in here. I'm gonna do one cup. I'm gonna do a half a cup. So I'm gonna do three fourths. Oh yeah, that was the perfect amount. This is what it's looking like so far. Enough for just the cold foam. I'm gonna do the actual cold foam in here. Let me open the can. Heavy whipping cream. I think that's enough. I have vanilla. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of the pumpkin and then we're going to froth it. Alright, so now I'm going to pour the cold foam on top. Oh, just enough. I got a few left. And I actually have this pumpkin pie um powder to put on top and this is the drink y'all so cute i actually got these straws from walmart the other day so i'm gonna try it mm. Mm. 
bomb as I think I'm actually put some whipped cream on there for my little picture. All right, guys. So I added the whipped cream or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of this um cold foam, just so it won't go to waste. And the whipped cream actually is um pumpkin as well. Yeah, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. This is good. All right, guys. So I stepped in my office to finish enjoying my chai latte. So matter of fact. Cheers to fall. I actually have to do a thumbnail real quick because I plan to drop a video. So that's what I'm going to be doing for a few. It doesn't really take that long. And I actually did want to get Glam to do my Sheen content that will most likely be in this vlog. And I also need to take pictures, but I'm not really sure. Because I know later when I go get to Zana, she's been talking about, you know, finally doing the pumpkins. And we really were going to do it yesterday, but I wanted to show you guys and I didn't vlog yesterday. So we will most likely be doing that. But what I think I'm going to do first is, you know, finish this up, chill, start on glam. Maybe around then it should be time to pick her up. Cause I don't want to, you know, get started on it too late, and then I'm gonna have to stop and go pick her up. Here, and actually, while I'm just sitting here talking to you guys, I want to show y'all some stuff. So I got to find this at Target. Cute shirt. I feel like the brown is definitely giving the fall vibes, and then I like how she, you know, has that pop of color. So that's for me. And then I got to find this for Tizana, cause she kinda is um on Hello Kitty as well. When then when she see when I be having stuff, she has to be like, mommy, I want some too. Or mommy, why you didn't get me none? So I seen this and I grabbed it for her. And then actually the Hey Boo sweater um was from Target as well. And then I got to find this shirt in there as well. So these actually just came in not too long ago. I had ordered them on Amazon and for some reason these actually didn't have prime delivery and I didn't realize till after I had placed it but it's these cute cups so cute I'm gonna probably make me one of the drinks in here but it's a cute cup it came in a pack of two I'll link it for you guys I actually got this from Amazon it's a Hello Kitty skillet it's like a pancake skillet I've been having this for so long because I've been wanting to do like kind of like a routine for me and Tazana and I want to make that for her but it's gonna have to be in a weekend because I do not be making her breakfast for school and it actually comes with like pancake mix but I don't think I'm gonna use it and I actually have been having this other one as well let me show it to you guys so this one is like a cutter goes like this and then it comes with this part so I've been having this for the longest. I actually been trying to do some sandwiches for her with that, but I need like the bigger bread and I always forget. Then I got this cup. It's kind of like the carton, the milk carton, but I got it in pink, like a pink tint. So cute. What else? Oh, these are some shoes that I got for Tizana. Originally, I thought they were like sixes, but they're um, just some MVP um, J's. This is what they look like. I really like them because of the colors. They kind of go with her uniform. So, yeah. I believe her daddy actually just, he just got those. Oh, so these are actually some pants I've seen on my Instagram. They're these olive pants. And they're literally like just distressed everywhere. Front and the back so cute and and they are from rockstar original this is my first time ordering with them and then this is the last package actually okay so this is actually my ed hardy outfit that i ordered i ordered this sweatsuit i got the white one and then like the tiger and this basically bring the pop of color and then the sweats are white as well with the tiger and i believe it says ed hardy on the booty part they have many other sets. I didn't want to go with pink because I feel like everybody's like, why you want to get pink? So I tried to not get pink, but I'm definitely going to go back and order the pink. So yeah, guys, this is just my little few things I've been having here. Like I said, I'm going to chill for a bit, finish this um, thumbnail, and then get glammed up. And then probably by that time, it's going to be time for me to go pick Tizana up. Oh my God, yeah. So sitting there talking to you guys, I totally forgot about the cinnamon rolls luckily i had turned the oven off when um the timer went off i had just kept them in there because I'm, I'm gonna let them cool down anyway so this is what they look like 
I feel like it's too much work with the twine. So honestly, I want to do it again. Unless I'm like really just going for the vibes. So I told you I was going to add a little bit of the pumpkin with the um, icing. So it has this pretty little color in there. As y'all see, they got like the little shape, but I feel like they didn't, they didn't really rise to the top like how I seen everybody else. I'm not really like a baking girl. And as y'all see, this one broke when I was taking all that twine off. A lot of the people that I did see doing was making them like from scratch. And I'm not a baking girl, so I wasn't gonna do all that. So this is what it looks like. And now that I'm thinking, I forgot the cinnamon sticks because that should put the cinnamon stick in the middle to make it like the trunk of the pumpkin. But of course, I always got to forget something. So I'm going to cut a piece and try one. So cheers. Okay. I feel like you can definitely taste where the heavy whipping cream made it like more moist inside. Hey guys, so quick little update. It's much later. I have picked Tazana up from school and actually just been chilling a little bit and I finally got my video posted and all that good stuff. As you guys see, I am not glammed up and I didn't do um, my sheen stuff like I mentioned to you guys because I just been having some little, you know, technical difficulties with my video and stuff. It had got flagged twice, so that means I had to like re-upload it, fix what I had to fix until it finally, you know, got green for me to post, which actually was just a few minutes ago. So now that that is done, all good and finished, I'm ready to, you know, talk to you guys and, you know, let you guys know what was going on. So actually, while I did all of that, Instacarted some groceries over here for what I wanted to make for dinner. I've been craving some loaded baked potatoes. For whatever reason like i told you guys sunday but we didn't make that and when i think of baked potatoes it just reminds me of steak for whatever reason and when i got on tiktok a lot of people actually do like fully extra loaded baked potatoes with like steak and shrimp but i don't think i want to do it like that i just want to have it like an actual side and then i'm gonna do have my steak as you know the main and then i'm also do green beans as a side Ooh. and then i was craving a sweet potato casserole so i'm gonna do that so we're gonna go in the kitchen and get started on this cooking i want help i'm actually excited because i have not been cooking or really been in the kitchen as much so yeah let's you know get to it I wanna, I wanna. and y'all this set is actually from um target i didn't show it to you guys let me show it to y'all so this is the set this pretty burnt orange color like you know silky satin the pants are wide of course and then these are the slippers from target as well shirt button up long sleeve i really just love the color if i actually wanted to you know make it a little bit more hoochie i could tie it from the front or i could you know tie it from the back and make it hoochie but i'm just feeling the little baggy vibes so let's go ahead and go into the kitchen so we got the sweet potatoes i'm pretty much the only one that eats it so that's why it's a few uh, the walnuts for the potatoes brown sugar green beans and then we got steak. So this is the New York strip. This is the T-bone. So I think I'm gonna start off by doing the potatoes, getting them in the oven since you know, they take a pretty minute for them to get soft. I wonder how many potatoes I should do. This is a big one. I'm gonna do four. The only thing is this long sleeve is gonna be a bit annoying while I'm trying to cook. We pre cut these foils. vegetable oil right now and salt and pepper I'm 
So I do a little bit of salt really because I don't even use salt. It's gonna get a little bit of flavor on the outside skin. So rub it. But I'm gonna rinse my hands off first before I start closing it because I don't want the oil to be on the outside and then and cause that to kind of be smoking in the oven. So I don't know if y'all can see, but it's like nicely coated. And me and paper towels in the kitchen, we got a bad relationship. I will use a whole pack. Every little thing I gotta rinse my hands or use a paper towel. So I'll close it up. So adding potatoes in, sweet potatoes. And I just washed the meat. I'm about to go ahead and season it. I'm gonna leave the seasonings on the screen that I like to use. So I'm gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. So this is what this looking like. I'm adding a little bit more um, garlic, just a little bit. And as you guys seen, I added some onions and peppers. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water, cover up with foil and put it in the oven. All right, y'all, so this is what the steak looks like before I put it in the oven. I found some of the beefy onion little pack mix we usually use. So I just added a little bit of that. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and put it in the oven. I'm gonna talk to you guys probably when dinner is done. Cause I already did green beans. I'm just waiting on the sweet potatoes to finish. And then I know with the loaded potato, we're pretty much gonna dress those up once we fix our plate with like the, you know, sour cream cheese, bacon bits. And we'll probably get started on pumpkins as well. So I'll just check in with you guys. Tarkov plug exclusive.
Hey y'all, so we are done with the pumpkins. And I'm about to eat. This is my plate. Steak, green beans, the sweet potato casserole, and the loaded potato. Mm -hmm. I can taste the vibes with the um loaded potato in the steak. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So I'm all done eating, and I'm about to actually go ahead and lay down because it's late. It's actually a little past this on the bedtime, so I'm about to log out. But let me kind of give you guys a little close-up of the pumpkins. She and Susanna was having a hard time because they didn't want to listen to me on how I did this first one, which was take the stencil and just cut it out. So this is actually <laughs> what they did at first. It's supposed to be a cap, but like I said, they didn't listen to me on how they're really supposed to do the stencil. So, which is why I did the Hello Kitty on this side, cause y'all know, that's my boo right now. So I pretty much just drew it out and then, you know, cut. And then this is the one that Tazana and Chi did after they messed the cat one up. Cause they listened to what I told them to do, which was put the stencil down and then trace it. That is actually Frankenstein. Um, the stencil didn't have the nail. Chi added that and it looks so much better. So these are all the pumpkins and y'all pretty much already seen them with the lights off. We'll most likely, you know, put them on a front porch or whatever to go with the other decor that Chi and Tazana end up doing out there. But for now, like I said, I'm about to go ahead and lay down. I'm tired and you know, it was a cool night. So good night guys. Good afternoon guys. So the last you guys have heard or seen of me was when I showed you guys a little bit of my chiropractor appointment that I had this morning. That was way earlier at 9 o'clock. Actually 9.30. So I actually filmed my sheen stuff that y'all should have seen by now. So y'all know I really just been working. I don't really should be showing you guys a lot of that. Because it be kind of hard showing you guys like the behind the scene of that. When I be like you know trying to record as well. I began like distracted or whatever. Since I just got done doing that, I'm about to head out. I want to take pics and I also want to stop at the mall. So pretty much it's going to be, you know, a long day to me, but a short day to you guys. Right now I'm putting my shoes on, y'all. That's why I'm doing all this moving around. And I actually have not ate anything all day, y'all. So why I want to eat before I take my pictures? No, I need to look as snatched as possible. But I'm real hungry. I haven't ate nothing all day. I was thinking about stopping somewhere before. But if I've been this long, I think I might as well just wait. So right now I'm just switching my bag from the LV to the pink one. Because I'm going to wear it for my pics. This one is actually my everyday bag. I need another one. I really want the um, Neverpool um, LV one as my everyday bag. Hint, hint, my birthday's coming up. No, um, no, my birthday's coming up. What are you talking about? But I never actually took any pics in this one. But let me give you guys pretty much the rundown. I'm going to take pics. Then I'm going to get food. And then I'm going to go buy me some Uggs. Y'all know fall is here. It's only right you get Uggs. Fall, winter equals Uggs. I actually have the original ones that she got me. I got some pink ones that I got myself, but I never wore them. And then some other pink ones that she got me. So I'm actually looking for the other style. I'll probably post them on the screen. And if we get lucky, I'll probably um, get those on some new ones as well. So yeah, we're going to do that. Before I head out, this is the outfit. You know, check out my Instagram. Pants are from Sheen, Top Skims. And you know, my favorite combo with my ones and my Dior bag. So yeah, this is my little outfit and then I'll just check in with you guys.
So we're going in journeys first. We got the Ugg section here. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I don't like that red detail stuff though. These kind of what I want, but brown. I don't want black. These are the options they got though. I kind of like these, but I feel like I already have some similar to these. All right, so I actually came to Beth. Um, what is this? The candle, Bath and Body Works. That's my good. White pumpkin. I think I like this one better. And my boo this, is helping um, me this, out. This, um, this <laughs> oh, which one is that one? I think I'm gonna take that one. Yeah, I want okay. that one. You want that? Yeah, I need that. I think this is the one that Claudia always get that I like. This actually my first time in here, I think. Yeah, my sisters come though, but I never personally I shop. Before, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, I think I got the champagne toast. I think that's the popular one, right? Yeah, that's the popular. And Tizana want to pick one of these little hand sanitizers out. The doggy tomorrow. No, only one. That one. Yes. She gonna take this little Christmas one. All right, let's go. So I came to Journey Kids, and this is their UGG um, collection. Not nothing at all. Now these the eggs for Tizana size. You know she had those. Mostly going for the brown vibes. Cause of course, brown goes with everything. They also have these like little low tops. You like these? Yeah. These boots? They don't fit you no more. These cute too. But they gotta be like clothes shoes for school. They actually have these other ones here, y'all. This kind of the style I'm going for, but brown. These are cute. Mommy, seriously, this looks... Okay, so it's these. I like how these are thicker, though. Which I believe is like the red one. So yeah, even in the women, it's still red. Yeah. But that's even thicker. That's like yeah, right. an extra little bit more. But all of these will have to be ordered. Right? No. Um... All right, so I'm actually gonna try the brown one. These are the five. Okay. She told me that's actually the only colorway for the thick ones that I like. So these are five. Mommy, can I have that color? So I was thinking between these are black. I like these. I'ma take them. I'ma take them. Alrighty. Two twenty four sixty eight. Whenever you're ready, you can tap swipe for Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Come on. All right, guys. So we're checking out. I had the um, the chicken with mixed vegetables, shrimp with mixed vegetables, and I also called in after for the shrimp fried rice and the wings separate. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm picking up some Chinese food because we're not cooking dinner. So we at the spot. I eat this all the time. And what's crazy? We've been coming here since we was little. I always tell you guys this. This is how you know it's old school. Look at the menu. It's been the same menu for decades. All right, guys. So I am back home. Pretty much did everything. I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I did get. Oh, and then you guys see me get some Chinese food. I had stopped at Bath and Body Works. I ended up getting a champagne toast. I really went in there for some um, fall ones. I ended up going with the white pumpkin. It's a white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and ground spices. I really love the smell. And then... Me got that. Tizana wanted this little sanitizer with this gingerbread top to it so bad. We're going to put this on your book bag. So I ended up spending $67.20. And as you guys seen, I did get to find my Uggs. I ended up going with these for Tizana. They look a little long because I actually ended up sizing up to 11. She's a 10C. Just so, you know, they can last her. And then you guys seen the ones I ended up trying on. Which are these. And I don't see my receipt, but I think my total was like two something. So I'm actually going to wind down for the night. I'm about to eat because a bitch is hungry, y'all. I have not ate nothing. 
don't know why I'm whispering, but it's 7.46 and I ain't nothing. Oh, by the way, look at these um, cute earrings from my boo, Air to Faye. Y'all yeah, know the pants had the star details, so. These are my new earrings that I got from her. Matter of fact, let me show you guys the other ones. So these are the star that just say Tammy with like a heart. The other ones say Bad Tammy in the same um sh star shape. And then this is the little card that she sent me from that package that I told you guys. So freaking cute. You're a cool mom in the middle. And then when you open it, it has the Mean Girls. Hey, by Tammy, here's a cute little PR box for my upcoming Mean Girls collection launching October 3rd. If you know, you know. Included, those are the tees you guys have already seen. Thank you for the love you always show us. You're such a cool mom and you can sit with us. I'm dead. Coat. So I actually have a coat with her. 15% off. So fetch. So make sure you guys go check her out. I'm going to wind down. I'm going to most likely take this makeup off before I eat. And then I will come back in. You know, show you guys my food or whatnot. Alright guys, so I took my makeup off. And if I look a little ashy, it's because I actually didn't put nothing on. I just put my little faded cream for my dark spots. But this is my plate. And yes, I'm eating them big. Mind your business. I got the shrimp with mixed vegetables rice and an egg roll and all of that is chili oil i put a whole little thing on there because y'all know i like my spice my mouth is watering just looking at this so i actually mix it all in together i'm actually about to log in my sister's sue's account because i went back and started watching i think baddies e south i'm kind of late to the train but cheers Oh, and I got a ginger ale. I'm gonna get out your face with all this munching and call it a night. So, good night, guys. Good morning, guys. I just dropped Tazana off and my food line because I want to make some tomato soup. So, I'm getting stuff on my list. Onion. I already got my tomatoes. Garlic. And I just threw on these little PJs because I be having to check Tazana in. Cheese. Because I'm making it with a grilled cheese. Swiss cheese. Heavy whipping cream. So I need chicken broth. Low salad. Tomato paste, olive oil, and just my sour dough bread. So I already checked off everything on my list. Checked. But now I need to give me some Advils. Because I started my cycle last night, y'all. And I don't have no Advils. Let me get this small one. So definitely add to cart. And now I'm about to get ready to check out. I hockey just want to get back in bed. Alright guys, I'm home. I just cleaned up in the kitchen. I might have gone ahead and taken my bathroom. Because the cramps are cramping. So I'll take two of these. And then I'll just grab one to on the small waters. Do y'all be having a hard time? taking pills but anyways i'm actually gonna make me my um chai just because i was craving some earlier just like i was craving this tomato soup with the grilled cheese is me or do y'all girls have cravings on your periods as well i know they be saying it's a pregnancy thing so sometimes when the period be like one two days late i'll be like I got my airpods in.
Cause I need one more time Cheers Think about you all day mommy Pop off. Come home and get my rust off. All right, y'all. So I went ahead and did the tomatoes, cut them up, some onions as well, and a garlic clove. Put olive oil, black pepper, garlic powder, and um, paprika. And I'm about to go ahead and put it in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll update you guys on this once it's done. All right, guys. So this is what the tomatoes look like fresh out of the oven. It actually smells really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a blender. And excuse the noise. That's just um, how the oven cools off. But transfer everything into the blender. And honestly, y'all, I've been wanting some good tomato soup since this one time i tried it i think when we was in miami's airport we had ate at the restaurant and i tried it and ever since i've really been trying to make some by myself and then with the garlic i'm just gonna squeeze it up. so honestly if it looks like that is enough liquid but i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the chicken broth because that's what the recipe kind of calls for. All right, y'all, so it's done blending. It smells good. So then we're going to put it in this pot. I didn't even get paste. This is tomato sauce, so I'm definitely not going to use this. But once you put it in there, you add heavy whipping cream and then probably season it a little bit more to your tasting. And then I'm gonna do the grilled cheese. So I got the sourdough bread, American cheese, Swiss cheese, and I think it said, and I forgot the Parmesan, cause I thought I had Parmesan, cause in my head I'm thinking about mozzarella. I never actually made a grilled cheese, but I'm gonna try. Can't be that hard. I just know they say you're supposed to use butter and oil, you know, to make it crispy or whatever. All right, guys, so I'm gonna actually just make two sandwiches. I'm gonna make one for Chi in case he wants to try it. And I did end up finding a little bit of Parmesan. So I'm gonna put mayo first. And I seasoned um, the soup already, and I like how it tastes. So I'm gonna put two slices of these. I'm gonna put one of the Swiss, and then just sprinkle a little bit of the Parmesan. So I'll put swish in the middle. Why does it have the little hose? It just gave me like rat vibes. A little bit of parmesan. So I'm gonna add butter. It said you gotta have it on a low heat, so I got it on five. All right, y'all, so I flipped it and I'm adding more butter. I'm gonna probably show it to you guys once I've, you know, fixed myself my plate. 
or whatnot. And tell me why I threw away my little basils that I bought. So I'm gonna use parsley for the greenery that they do. All right, guys, so my grilled cheese and tomato soup is all done. I tried a little old white thing like they be doing. <laughs> Call me Chef Tammy. So I'm about to go ahead and try it. I dipped it in the soup. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. I had to cut the cameras, y'all, because I had to just bust the rest of that um grilled cheese and soup down. And surprisingly, I'm actually full. I didn't think it was gonna get me full, but I'm full. So right now I'm just working on the little sheen video that i gotta turn in and then i'm really just gonna wait to pick this on up and then i have to do my sister's hair i did have some other plans but since i'm squeezing my sister into it i'm not gonna be able to complete it i was supposed to actually do it you know before i went and grabbed tizana because i'm gonna be making my baby a little spooky basket so i was actually you know trying to do it while she was in school so i can grab the stuff and put it together and then by the time i went to pick her up you know i surprised her in the car or when we get back home so this is pretty much what i'm gonna do and then we'll most likely do the boo basket tomorrow good morning guys so it's actually the next day it's like nine. I just came back from dropping Tazana off. And I had made her a grilled sandwich, so I went ahead and made me one as well. So I'm about to eat this for breakfast. I didn't come back and speak to you guys yesterday because like I mentioned, I was doing my sister's hair and I was just gonna work. And I thought she was vlogging, but she wasn't. So I really could have showed you guys hair which I'm kind of mad about because we did a cute style and something different. Well, it was kind of similar to the blonde one I just had, but she did it like different and it was long and she had like some little front pieces and I added blonde in there as well. So I definitely could have showed you guys. I'm gonna start asking her because the last two times I thought she was gonna vlog, she wasn't even vlogging. And y'all know I like showing you guys like different styles pretty much when I do do them. So anyways, that's all I did yesterday and work on my video like I mention to you guys right now i'm about to just chill for a little bit i'm about to eat this and then i'm gonna get my day started i told you guys i want to do the little you know spooky basket so i'm gonna do that you know run out i think i want to do marshall's and what else i'm trying to think who else is gonna have some nice stuff home goods be having some good stuff too you know that's pretty much the same vibe so i'm gonna try both of those out hopefully i get to find enough to you know fill up the basket like i want and then i actually had ordered some cups for her so i actually have to pick those up as well that will go in her basket so i'll probably come back and talk to you guys a little later when i'm already dressed i'm probably gonna go with something chill so i'll just come back and talk to you guys hey guys so as y'all seen i'm out the house and i forgot to update you guys because i was rushing a bit just because i want to make sure i have it done and you don't have enough time to stop at these stores before she actually gets out of school and it's actually raining outside so i just reflyer iron my hair for nothing really but i do have this big old umbrella so i think we should be fine but i was gonna jam with you guys in the car a little bit but it's raining so you're gonna need to focus on the road and i'll just update you guys hey guys so i made it in marshall's and as soon as i walked in i found this the halloween mini mouse so i'm gonna take it and then i found this cotton candy i'm not really sure if i'm gonna take it yet though and then i found these hello kitty um cotton swabs they have a lot of um christmas for whatever reason so like i wish they had one of these but like halloween she already has one of those i believe and i wish it was orange at least 
See, like, they have this, but it's like Christmas vibe. Like, I want Halloween vibe. So this is Halloween vibe, but I really like the horns. Like, you know, we ain't with the little devilly kind of vibe. To y'all, like, Christmas. Literally Christmas. Oh, Nana would like this. All right, y'all, so I made it to the clothing item and they have a PJ that's Minnie Mouse. So it matches perfectly with the little doll right here. That's cute. But they literally have like Christmas stuff out, y'all. I think that's all. These are like other bigger size. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to take her one of these little beanies or not. I'm going to just take this white one. Alright guys, so I'm about to go ahead and check out. I only added these and these to add that Minnie Mouse in there because she has been liking her. And I changed the beanie to this. Because it kind of gives like, you know, the kitty vibes. And y'all not be doing her hair, so I feel like the earmuffs will be much better for her. And then I got a candle for her room. And then I found this for me. You know, like a little makeup bag. So I'm actually about to go ahead and check out. I'm trying to see if Nana wants this little cookie jar. Because y'all know she loves the Grinch for Christmas. So I'm going to wait to see if she wants it or not before I head out. So we have arrived at Home Goods. Um, they got Halloween bags. Yeah, so like, why you can't have a Halloween basket? But you got Christmas. Make it make sense. I want like a black one. They got this very small one. Like it's too small. I kind of like this one. I was kind of like, you know, see-through. It's black and grayish. 25. It's better than the browns. I feel like the brown would definitely throw it off. They also have this one for $12. So I'm in Target now. The outfit of the day. Because y'all didn't see it. But I got this pink um, Frankenberry cereal. I got these um, gloves. And then y'all know she loves Wednesday. So I got to find this top. <laughs> You're not, uh, are you, you don't work. No, I don't work here. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> I look like I work here. And then I got this to kind of put in her room, like some candies. Thinking about it though, because she don't even get to eat candy like that for real. Not even exaggerating, y'all. It's straight Christmas stuff out here. Chroma. They don't skip Thanksgiving. They don't skip Halloween. They got these little slippers that I got to find at Marshall's with Minnie Mouse and Orange. So I'm going to take these. I don't think I'm going to take these. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. So I'm about to leave from here. Literally, y'all know. Like, y'all know how Target usually be having a matching family PJs? They ain't got that, baby. And this tripod, I actually bought it because I've seen it. It's good for, like, shopping, like, recording when you're shopping. I'm going to insert a pic of what it looked like. Like, it, the legs, you can, like, you know, wrap it around the thing. It's me still trying to look around and see <laughs> if I find something. Oh, I need a little tissue paper. I'm going to get that, and then I'm going to check out, y'all. There's literally nothing here. Hey guys, so unfortunately I wasn't able to make the um, basket before I picked her up. We stopped to get some food. I got onion rings and a hot dog. Tizana got a hot dog, cheese fries, and a lemonade. Which is Tizana do sweater hey, I showed you guys. Hey guys, day. guess what? Um, my friend Lauren, her guys the same shirt sure that I'm wearing. Yeah, she was twinning. One of her classmates. And they ended up having the same little sweater. That's not a sweater, it's a shirt. It's a sweatshirt. It's a shirt. And honestly, I feel like I didn't get it to find like as many items as I wanted. Thank you, Mom. This is what I like, cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for now, actually, 
My cousin wants me to help her with um like a little mini photo shoot, like a one month shoot for um her daughter. Y'all know how people be doing like one month, two months and all that. So she's gonna come over here so we can do that. Well, I'm actually gonna be taking the pictures off my camera. All right guys, so my cousin finally arrived and finally ready for our photo shoot. So I just laid down this little white blanket that I have, you know, for like the background. I got to find these little garlands. How many I get? I got three of them. And then I got these little pumpkins as well. Just little different pumpkins. And then she actually did a pumpkin because we was trying to find a board because she wanted to put what well, this little pumpkin is one month, right? Yeah. I couldn't find that board. So she ended up just painting the little pumpkins that we had just painted. She just put one month on it with like some little leaves. That's actually what she just got done doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, spread this stuff out. And I actually found a cute little outfit at Target. So she getting her dress into that now. Do you want it like all around or do you want it like kind of on one side? Like all on, all like one side. Okay. Let's see. I wish I would have did this with Tizana. Yeah, I like when parents be doing that. You gotta really do it every month too though. Yeah. <laughs> I be on down TikTok already trying to find ideas. Yeah, I be liking it. Hey, I'm surprised the newborn shit fit her. It fit her good? Uh huh. I kind of thought it was gonna be too small. I'm like. <laughs> and then this is the pumpkin that she just did. So this is the setup, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna take them on my um camera. I'm gonna show y'all her little outfit in a minute. All right, y'all. So this is the little outfit. As you guys see, it matches the vibes perfectly. So we about to get started. So it's actually much later, and I really just been sitting here was really trying to get some energy to get up and you know make me a little drink or something but honestly now i just feel drained your girl just be tired y'all now like especially when i be staying up like at six o'clock like i be up since six o'clock and y'all know all of this is still very new to me so yeah that's how i'm feeling i'm about to lay it down i'm not doing nothing else so i just thought to update you guys really quick and i will most likely come and talk to you guys tomorrow i was hockey dozing off that's why i look like this but i'm probably mom you know, i'm going to school today today but i'm gonna call it a night like i said y'all so good night <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the next day and it's actually an afternoon because your girl actually got to sleep in today and just relax. Tazana and her daddy actually, you know, finally put the decorations up or whatever. So I got to chill a bit up until my mama came up here asked me to dye her hair. I was going to show y'all, but I wasn't really sure. I haven't dyed hair in a little minute and I was a little scared to see how the color was going to come out. It did do good, but not really all the way how I wanted to. So let me know if you guys would like to see, you know, me actually doing color and when I just be doing like, you know, straight hair and stuff like that to, you know, show you guys different from like ponytails and stuff. But um, I really was kind of waiting and chilling until the girl that I had ordered some cups from hit me up to get the cups because I uh, actually had ordered them to put it inside the basket like I told you guys. So I did get to meet her and she actually, um, this is her packaging, by the way. She actually did give me something for Nana, but I'm not gonna open it. And then she actually, you know, did something extra for me. But she's just so sweet. She made me this Hello Kitty cup. So it's actually like a little snow globe kind of um cup. I don't know if you guys see the glitter or whatnot. So that's what that looks like. So cute. I believe she actually did the same one for Nana. So she actually did me another one. I see it's Hello Kitty. Oh, look 
y'all. So it's a Starbucks Hello Kitty one. So cute. I'm gonna definitely be making me my little pumpkin um drinking here all the time. All my matchas. So cute. So then these are the ones that I actually ordered. Oh, so cute. So it's a uh, Barbie one. I'm trying not to be too loud because she's taking a nap. So that's why I'm trying to do it while she's taking her nap. But similar to the one like Nana's, but she got the tea, of course. So cute. And I ain't get my baby one, but two, because I'm extra. Oh my god. I freaking want one now. So it's this all black one. And it says her name, Tazana. And then look, y'all. Look. <laughs> A pink that one so cute and i just love how it's black like it makes it stand out even more what is that i want one of these so now i'm gonna be putting this one together from here i think y'all pretty much seen everything that i grabbed so of course i'm gonna just you know organize it in here cute way oh i didn't show you guys this well i feel like y'all will fully see when she does it as well i wish she kind of like sat but i guess i'm gonna stand her up in the corner i'm gonna put this next one here he's a little more fluff i'm gonna add these guys That's why I wanted more stuff because I feel like the small things, you know, go in a bag and actually make it look a bit more. Put a little candle. Oh, that made it go all the way down. Alright guys, so I actually ended up adding a little web on there. And this is what she looks like. So cute. So she actually just woke up from her nap and I've been having her wait in her room. So I'm gonna call her out here and see what she thinks. All right, so I'm gonna have her close her eyes. Your eyes closed? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna put this one on there. Open. Look over there. Thank you, <laughs> You my spooky boo. <laughs> you like your basket? Okay, we gonna open it. I'm gonna put it down for you. Damn! You want stuff in this. Alright, y'all, Tazana about to open her basket. Bye! <laughs> you like it? It's a school. Oh, wow. Cute. <gasps> wow! Hello, kitty. Wow! And it says your name, look. It says Tazana. That one has a T. But it's Zana. Slippers, now mm -hmm. wake up. It's the nurse again. To clean your ears. You see who it is? My kitty. Yeah. Got you a candle for your room. Candle? Mm-hmm. What is this? What is this? Some earmuffs. But when it's cold outside, you know, in the morning it'd be cold. Put it on like that. Like that. And the end of that. Mm hmm. What is this? What do it look like? Onions? Yeah. It's chocolate? Yep, yeah, chocolate. <laughs> you know what that is. <laughs> what is it? Show them. It's an egg. I got her egg. She loves these. Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse slippers. What is that? That's a towel. Towel? Mm hmm Wow! Minnie Mouse outfit was uh, pajamas and pants. Clip. Yep, hair clips. Oh, what's that? Hair! Yeah. Hair. These are so cute. We're going to have to put these on for, um, for school. It's in here. It's a pumpkin for you to um draw. Yeah. 
What's that? It's Wednesday! Yeah! <laughs> what does this do? It's really bad! Mm-hmm. What? Well, wrong. She don't do nothing. She just got a Halloween outfit on. See? She a witch. What is that? This Frankenstein cereal. Frankenstein cereal? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Mommy! You're welcome, Mommy. Thank you. You're welcome. You love it? Yeah. Because. <laughs> you love it? All right, guys. So I know I mentioned that I wanted to sip on something last night, but I never did. So I'm going to do it now. I'm going to make a strawberry lemon drop. So I got Tito's. I got this Jose Cuervo mix, the strawberry one. I got lime juice, strawberry syrup. Got my glass. And then y'all know this. But I actually don't know the recipe, so I'm about to call Karen. Hopefully she picks up. Hello? Can you help me with the um recipe for the strawberry lemon drop real quick? Like FaceTime? Yeah. Is you playing the game? <laughs> so I do the I do the rim first, like the sugar stuff. Yeah, you do the rim. You dip it in the lime or lemon, and then get my sugar. Do you want it strong or no? Um, like medium. So do like. Hold up. It's starting to happen. I'm using Tazana stuff. You ain't got like a shot cup? Oh, yeah. This whole one and a half? That one big. You so might want to do just, just that do one. one. Okay. Alright, now what else? Alright, where does zero? Right here. You said two or three? Do two. Alright. What about the lime juice? Do do one. Or well, do two. Not do two. And then this, right? Oh, they punching me. Yeah, do. I gotta see the cup. Like show you while I'm pouring? Yeah. Alright. I already poured a lot. Keep going. How much is there? It's kind of like right here. Yeah, that should be good. You probably poured a lot. Yeah, your ass wasn't even looking. And then just pour and that's it. Shake it. Shake yeah. it and then you ain't got like a little straw. Yeah. The lemon. Yeah, I need another shot. <laughs> All right, thank you. I think I got it. All right. So my helper wasn't even paying attention. So I tried it and it's good. So now I'm pour. And then she said, put a lemon. You could put a lemon or either a strawberry. I'm gonna put a lemon. So this is my drink. Cheers. Hey guys. So it's actually much later. Your girl just been drinking drinks. Just vibing some music. Which is really why I've been talking to you guys. But I think we're gonna get some food probably in a little bit. And I'll probably just bring you guys with me then. But for now, your girl just been sipping. I think I'm on like my fifth, sixth cup, really. Hey guys, so we're getting some food. We at La Fe. We about to see what they got. I'm gonna lose. 
What they got? Oh, they got tamales for Tizana. They got tamales. What you gonna get? What you want? It's too cold for ice cream. Get some chips or something instead. It's too cold for ice cream, mommy. They got these. Look. They got this. Look, they got the they got these gummies. Kids always worry about candy, man. Alright, get one thing. I'm gonna get barbacoa. They lamb barbacoa be 10 out of 10. This is my plate. I'm about to go ahead and eat. What are you talking about? It's before you don't need candy, right? Why is this red sauce so hot? Hmm? You know, my mouth is burning right mm -hmm. here. But it's good. We ate our food and we're about to call it a night. I'm actually going to go ahead and close this video out. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys, you know, Daddy. leave a comment or something. Follow me on Instagram at underscore. So with that being said, bye guys.